Yo, what is poppin' Legit Nation? Welcome back to another day on Legit Vlogs. Guys, if you're not already a part of the family, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but today is gonna be a very legit day. So without further ado, let's start our day, and let's make today, as always, a very legit day. So if you guys are wondering, yo, I'm back at another legit vlogs for life, but uh, what is going on today? Well, as you guys can see, I'm carrying some shoes right now. The reason I'm carrying some shoes right now is because I have a website. That's right, I got a website where I sell shoes. It's always in the description. I kind of slow down on it though, just because I'm focused more on these videos than on the website. But you guys can also buy some exclusive merch from your boy if you are interested in that. Whoo, there she is. What a beauty. Hey, beauty. <laughs> Alright guys, so Beth is gonna be with my mom today, so she is not gonna be in the vlog today But I do have somebody else joining us for the day, and I'm pretty sure by the title you guys probably know who is joining us already But without further ado, RGH squad! Shout out to my dad guys, if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe to Retro Game Hunters Retro Game Hunters, go subscribe to his channel But without further ado guys, today we're going back to the military base We're gonna see what kind of steals and deals we can get at the military base, which I'm really hoping they have some good ones because we haven't been there in a while. Stay tuned, we're heading over there right now, so let's go. RGA Squad E Legit Woo! Nation, we are back out here at the military base, baby. We're gonna see what we can find for steals and deals. By the way, guys, if this is your first time seeing a military base video, you're probably wondering, first of all, how are you getting in base? Well, my dad is a disabled veteran. He served his time in Iraq. He was in the Army and the Navy. Also, why, what is so special about the military base? Basically, steals and deals all day, baby. They don't charge tax, and a lot of times they have a lot of the retro Jordans that are off of the shelves in the mall. They have them sitting here. So that is why we love making these videos. So without further ado, let's hop inside and see what they got today. So I've been wanting some new jewelry. They got a lot of kiosks here in the mall. I wanted like a, I want to change all my jewelry to gold because I'm usually like I have a lot of silver stuff I just bought this silver chain but I want to change it into gold like I want to get a gold wedding ring and I want to get a gold necklace but I don't know because I know it's gonna cost a lot of money so maybe I might have to wait a little bit but I got some jewelry here it's alright it's alright so I kind of want a gold watch but I'm not really sure yet because here I don't know everyone here that has worn a gold watch you always had to be like an old man to wear a gold watch so I don't know do you guys feel the same way that only like your grandpa wears the gold watch do you guys feel the same way because I kind of do a little bit with the polo sport fragrances though Ralph Lauren oh my god all right guys, so right here we have the Gucci cologne, but what if we wore fake Gucci cologne to the Gucci store from the flea market, eh? This right here is the kind that I love. This is my favorite cologne ever. And I actually found this at Ross one time. It's $52 here, but one time I found it at Ross for like $20. Anyways, enough with the men's fragrances. Let's go ahead and hop over to the shoes and see what they got today. And as we approach the shoes, you see a whole sneaker wall right here. Yo, these just released and they're sitting here at the base. What size is this? This is a size 8. I'm not sure if they have any more sizes of these. Honestly, though, I really don't like these Jordans, but I can understand why they're here. They got a little bit of camo print on them. Kind of mili military almost. What do, you, what do you think of these? I kind of like them. I mean, because of the camo there. I mean, they're cool, but the thing is, like, like what would you wear these with? You know what I mean? Like, it would be hard to match something with them. Uh, I'd probably wear these with my uh, DCUs, maybe. My uh, my BDUs. What's that? <laughs> Um, battle dress uniform. When do you wear that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got some military exclusive sneakers for your BCU. We got some Jordan ones up here. Some Air Jordans looking like the fragments. Um, we got some black and white Jordans. Bunch of Jordan ones up here. Then, yeah, this is all like Jordan ones up here. So, and then you got some of the more performance Jordans down here. Some, uh, are these like Jordan runners or? Yeah, these are like some type of Jordan runner. Something like that. Some, something like that. You got some LeBrons over here. We also got some Jordan 2s here. I know that these two lows have been sitting here for a long time. One, because they are a big shoe and two, because who wants Jordan 2 lows? Seriously. Every time I see this shoe, I think Transformers. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yep. I get the same feeling, Daddy 05. And <laughs> so these kind of look like the Yeezys if you just like put your, if you cover your whole, if you cover them all in your pants and you're wearing some really baggy pants, you could pull out these for being Yeezys, but yeah, they're Jordans. But um, we got some KDs down here, some Mellows, a lot of performance basketball shoes, honestly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have them. Oh my God. The BTs. What are these even? They're not even Crocs. I thought they were gonna be Crocs. I never heard of BTs. What are B? Do y'all wear these in the military? BTs. What are they? Y'all wear this? Battle. Battle. Bongs. Bat bear traps. Here, what are you doing? You need this thing to hang them up. We got some Kobe's over here too, and these are actually free. As you can see, the tag says zero dollars and zero cents. It's an eight, but it's kind of it's starting. It's starting to rub off though. So, false advertising. We'll get them for false advertising. We're coming after you. Exchange. I think the government would probably win that one. We got some um, Paul George's right here. Oh, I like this colorway. That Tiffany and that black. 
Oh my gosh. What do you think? I should probably take a whole box, man. I can never find my socks. And this way, I'd have a whole box <laughs> of socks ready to go whenever I want. It's like pantyhose. Yeah. Or you could, you know, rob a bank whenever you feel like it. Just, oh yeah. my gosh. Okay, so shoes were dope as always, but we're hopping into another part of the exchange where they have more of like the furniture, house stuff, sporting goods. We're gonna kind of look for stuff to suit up the new vehicle, so let's see what they got here. Uh, maybe some floor mats or something like that. So we've been looking around and we can't really find any like automobile stuff. We can't find any car stuff, so I'm not sure if they have it here or not or if we're just in the wrong section. Okay, so we're approaching the car stuff now. We're gonna see what they got in here. And... Yeah, they really don't have the mat that I was looking for. These are not the mat you're looking for. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, Army Base, you were dope. You were pretty cool, but um, I think we're going to... Air Force Base. Air, I, Air Force Base, I apologize Air, to all the airmen out there. Um, <laughs> but at least they don't call you the seamen. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna hop over to we're gonna hop over to uh, Academy right now and uh, see what they got to offer. And we are arriving here at Academy, and we are going to see what they got. So right now in the car, I got my dad to listen to his old album, the N.W.A. So uh, he's getting a little inspired here, and um, yeah. Oh my gosh, Dad, I think you're taking this whole NWA thing too far, Dad. That was This is a stick-up. Everybody get face down. Dad, that was back in the day. Please don't buy any ammo, please. So unfortunately, they don't carry any automobile mats or anything like that, which I was pretty much certain that they would have it at Academy, but I guess not. So we're going to have to look at the shoes real quick, just so that we can keep you guys entertained, and that way you don't click off this video. Don't click off, 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 don't click off. And it's dry. You can click off now. I'm really convinced. I'm really convinced that this is where all the knuckleheads shop. First of all, they got protein in every section, which isn't bad. I love myself some good protein. But the dude behind us was literally calling his son like a fag boy, and I was like, "Yo, how old are you, bro? How old are you, bro?" And like the kid was singing "Bad and Bougie," but yeah, he was like, "Dad, can you buy me McDonald's, please?" Like, kid, you're singing "Bad and Bougie," but you want your dad to buy you McDonald's. Like, go listen to Dora. But I can't just get one nugget. One, oh, like one nugget by itself? Yeah, just one nugget. Yeah, go ahead and pull up. You're <laughs> like, dude, I don't have time for this. He's gonna give me one nugget. <laughs> Wendy's back at it again with the one nugget. It was actually free, but you know, one nugget. That's it. Thank you, Wendy's. So we've been playing a lot of games at my brother's house, so I decided to surprise him with a new one. Um, shout out to my brother, Sam, part of Retro Game Hunters. Hopefully he can uh, enjoy this game. Oh, sweet. So we're gonna play or what? Sure, but I already had it. Daniel said you didn't have it. Well, say I got it for me. I'm done. So today I brought my dog. Her name is Jayla. She's a Pomchi, and she's about to meet Tim's little sister Sarah's dog named Rosie. And I'm very afraid right now. She's like super vicious, and I think that she's gonna attack her. Look at there's that dog. Go ahead, Rosie. didn't work out very well. Jojo, you want to drive my car? <sighs> All right, everybody in? All right, bye, Jojo. We'll see you later. Bye, Joe. I'm honestly really scared for what he does. I feel like he might take off in my car. Get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> so a couple episodes back, I told Beth's little brother if he goes and dances with the mariachis, I would buy him whatever snack he wants from the gas station. You ready? Yeah. All right, where are we starting off at? Candy section. Candy section? Why do you want that specific candy? Because I like it. Do you want that one? Yes. All right, what about your drink? You have 10 seconds to pick your drink. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, that's it. Nope, you got to put it back. Your time's up. I got it. Your time's up. You got to put it back. I got it. All right, fine. Let's go. Let's say mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It has been a very long day. Beth actually made some lasagna that my mom taught her to make. Did you like your lasagna? I liked it. It was really, really cheesy. She is such a cheese girl. <laughs> she I'm loves so herself cheesy. some cheese. So literally this car, you don't even need to put the key in. All you gotta do is just like, it senses that the key fob is in my pocket and it just lets us in. I am super sleepy today. I don't know why. I just feel really, really sleepy and so does Beth. I don't know why. We didn't even like wake up super early or anything, but we need some rest. We really need some rest. We need to catch up on some sleep. 
Yeah, we need to catch up on some sleep for sure. We've been staying up late grinding and grinding and working hard, but that's how you accomplish your dreams. So today we went sneaker shopping on the military base. Now, military base, guys, it's always legit. It's always dope. I love going to there. But some segments that I really do like having on this channel is sneaker shopping, looking for sneakers at places that you wouldn't regularly find sneakers. So if you guys have any recommendations of places that you guys want me to check out, let me know down below. But today was great. Today was awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining and watching today. Guys, we're gonna keep it quick. We're gonna keep it simple. But after every video, we end off with a word of the day. So today's word of the day comes from Ephesians 6.10. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Be strong in the Lord, guys. No matter what you're going through, if whatever you're dealing with, whatever type of situation you're going through right now at school, at work, within your family, within your community, within yourself, maybe online, cyber bullies, whatever, guys, it says be strong in the Lord. Guys, a lot of times I feel like when we go through our own personal situations, sometimes we feel like it's all on us. Like, oh, I'm not good enough to do this. I can't handle this. I can't go through this. So people start resorting to other things such as drugs, you know, alcohol, stuff like that. But honestly, guys, that is not what we should be resorting to. We should be coming to Christ. We should be giving our problems to Christ because it says he is our strength. He is our might and he can get us through any situation that we want to. So we got to remember that we can't rely on our strength, but only on the strength of God. Guys, thank you so much for coming to another legit vlog. I want all of you guys to hit up that thumbs up button, especially if you're a part of the legit nation. And if you watched all the way till the end, I want you guys to comment down in the comment section below legit vlogs. I see who you guys are. Thank you so much for being a part of my life. And thank you so much, Legit Nation, for coming today. We will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.